M. Hey guys, hey internet, Maddie here. Introducing my special guest, Emily. Emily, introduce yourself to the people. I'm Emily. Is that all you have to say, Rachel? I was asked to be in this video. I'm not really sure why. All right, Em. Today we are talking about climate change. It's your favorite topic. I'm busy. Em, how do you think climate change is affecting our lives? Well, it's December 5th. And it's still very hot outside. <laughs> that is very correct. <laughs> So we are from middle to upper class uh, families living in Texas. We're originally from Texas, so we um, so we are we're fortunate enough to be from America, where uh, we have access to a lot more things. And so our experiences in the world and climate change are going to be a lot different than other people's. So while I know that climate change has and will affect me, the way it does is like, you know, it's December, it's still hot, you know, what the heck, I want it to be cold outside. But that's like an abstract, uh, you know, small issue about the future, whereas for many people the issue is really more personal and prevalent. Charles D. Ellison discusses the idea that class and race uh, play an important role in the health of an individual. He says that where you live down to your zip code, like your exact zip code, will determine and can determine how often you get sick and how soon you die. Um, because of many major contributors to climate change, such as landfills and nuclear waste sites, are located near lower class neighborhoods, this will affect the more imminent and immediate uh, danger to the lower class and people of color. According to Ellison, the top 12 plants with the lowest environmental justice performances were within three miles, two million unsuspecting Americans, 76% of which were people of color. Similarly, those who live abroad will experience climate change in a much different way than those of us who live in America. Similarly, those who live abroad will experience climate change in a much different way than those of us who live in America. And let's talk about let's talk about water bottles. Um, what what do you think about water bottles? I think that they um, are a really great way to contain my water so that my water is not just spilled. Well, they're not good. And you should stop buying them and stop drinking them because they're really bad for our environment. And let me tell you- Randy, bring me a water bottle! <laughs> Don't do it, Randy! <laughs> water bottles are really bad for our environment. There was um, an article I read called Stop Drinking Bottled Water, which I actually sent you the link. Did you ever read it? <laughs> no, okay. when did you do that? I sent to you after I read it. Oh no, I never read that. <laughs> well, you should have read it. Um, I was probably you do, doing something. <laughs> what, what could you have possibly been doing that was more important Let's than reading about plastic uh, water bottles? Sitting on the couch, sleeping, oh, literally anything. There was a study they did in Washington University in, in St. Louis um, where they banned water bottles seven years ago. And can you... That's lipstick. <laughs> I was just trying to see the color. Um, and they actually found that all bottled water beverage or bottled beverages dropped nearly 40% after the policy was implemented. You ban one thing, then almost all of the bottled beverages got, well not almost, but like, like they dropped 40%, which is pretty cool. And that's something that I actually um, want to happen and would like would vote to happen and stuff would be the banning of water bottles because they're incredibly bad for our environment. Um, prices of bottled water are like 240 to 10,000 times higher than tap water and the industry makes a hundred billion dollars in a year and like that's expected to double in the next five years. Tap water, gross. Tap water is fine and if you don't like tap water, just get just get a filter. It makes the tap water taste so much. Can you not put lipstick on I my didn't. hands? I didn't. I just did that one time. Um, and it makes the water taste much better. So if you like don't like the taste of your water, just get a filter. Get multiple filters. Filter or move that to water New York seven times. New York tap water tastes the best. Or move to New York. You know, you know, yeah. Move to New York and then you can take public transportation, which is actually also a lot better for the environment <laughs> if you take public transportation. Um so how many how much of the bottled waters do you think or bottles do you think are uh, recycled in the US? 
Probably not as much as you're wanting. Yeah, only a third, <laughs> only a third of plastic bottles, plastic bottles, plastic bottles. <laughs> bottles are actually recycled in the U.S. and that should be, you know, 100% should be recycled. So climate change, a lot of people choose not to believe it for many different reasons, mainly because either they're just like choosing to stay ignorant or climate change isn't um, necessarily immediately affecting them right now. It's not a right now danger to them. And so climate, since climate change is a more gradual problem, that's um, more of an idea of a future problem. People don't see it as a problem, even though it might be the biggest social problem of today. So now I'd like to discuss some possible <laughs> solutions. Um, I didn't come up with these solutions, but I'm a big fan of all of them, and I think if we implemented all of them at um, each micro, meso, and macro levels, then we might be able to stand a chance against this, against this war. Even if it's not like, you know, going back to the pre-industrial age, we can't stop it or reverse the effects of climate change immediately, like completely, but we can fight it and stall it. Um, such as stop buying bottled waters. <laughs> Start using your tap water, people. Stop buying Keurig cups and bottled waters because both of those are incredibly bad for the environment. Um, I will keep buying my Keurig cups. No, just get one of those... Get one of those reusable, reusable Keurig cups that you can like dump out the coffee and refill. They make all the same coffees that you just have to fill it up yourself. It adds like maybe 10 seconds to your morning. Like that's not a big deal. I just and, it added 11 seconds to my morning. Oh. So you need to just wash it Oh, okay. I'm sorry. But like people like to think that their, their changes in their lives aren't going to make a difference. But every single person will make a difference, especially if we're all doing it together. So some possible solutions that we're going to go through. Micro levels, so it's like you and me, you know, individuals, small families, things like that. Stop buying stuff that is bad for the environment, and if you do buy it, recycle it. Both of those things are not that hard. You can do those things, okay? Also, put the companies out of business. Put them out of business! Yeah, also, get people to not have jobs. Also, you can vote. Make sure you are aware of your politician's stances on these things and go vote because your vote does matter. At a more meso level, such as like cities, neighborhoods and stuff, you could set up neighborhood recycling, push for more climate conscious forms of travel, um, place all the macro level solutions in action at a meso level. So you have to have a change for socialization. You have to have a um, whole group change for this to work. You have to teach people that climate change is real and it's a problem and we should be doing something about it. Now, yes. macro level. United States is the only country that has not signed the Paris Agreement. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Syria has recently joined, leaving the US the last ones. We need to join and we need to follow it to a T. Every single country does. That's gonna make a difference, okay? <laughs> joined, leaving the US the vote to join the Paris Climate Agreement, all right? Also, outlaw things, such as plastic bottles and K-cups. Don't, can you? <laughs> also, I think giving tax breaks and incentives to companies who um, do things like recycle and use reusable container, turn of energy, such as solar, would uh, make a good change because incentives and positive reinforcements and stuff like that will help people change more than the negative ones, such as outlawing, though those are good too. Um, also, I think investing in more profitable ways of recycling and driving electric or solar cars or other sustainable power, such as using garbage for fuel or cutting edge things like turning seawater into drinkable water and growing plants in fluid so the soil isn't depleted would all be good solutions and changes that we can make. Um, most importantly, be vocal. Talk about climate change, talk about the reason, um, know your stuff, know what's actually happening, and share your knowledge with people. Use your skills and profession to raise awareness. There's this photographer that I really like, Benjamin Von Wong, who um, went out and borrowed and took 10,000 used plastic water bottles to create a beautiful art piece. And you can find this at his website, um, vonwong.com. And the pictures are absolutely gorgeous. I'll post one right here, picture. It shows the effects that we're facing from climate change, such as ocean acidification and deforestation and economic losses and landslides and soil depletion and decertification and flooding and droughts and all of the different things that we're facing. 
including the earth no longer being suitable for human inhabitants. We're finally in the f- inhabitants. We're finally in the first Did time. Did you know that, God? Did the, you know? <laughs> the first time in human oh, you know history oh, yeah. we're facing global decline. There's something that needs to change, and we all need to come together to uh, make that change and make that difference. So, yeah, I think God knows um, that this is happening. Does he know <laughs> but that? But not all of us know, and we does all he know need that to know and share our... Does the world is going to make the world that he created, like, not suitable for us to live? Does he know that? But you still got everything, and everything's fine. Oh, doesn't he, mean we... He reigns supreme. Doesn't mean that we can't be the best stewards of the planet. That oh yeah, we can well be. I believe that we should be good stewards of the things that have been given to us. But then be part, a good steward and stop buying plastic water bottles. That's the end. All right. Thank you for listening to my end. little rant. Um, go out, tell people, make a difference, start recycling, stop buying plastic water bottles, and I'll see you next time. All right. Adios. Glad ciao. I to talk. Bye.